down here. I'm so mad. All right, let's do this. Son of a bitch, tits. Son of I fucking I hate this. Okay, thank goodness. But why would Klutz be here besides that? All right, Klutzy, tell me what's going on. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I think it's too much to ask these PlayStation fanboys to relax for one freaking week and I, I, I mean it, I have seen some crazy stuff that these PlayStation fanboys do from threatening developers, sending questionable pictures, you name it, the PlayStation fanboys have probably done. But this right here really crossed the fucking line. It's like every single week they look at each other and say, hey, look. I'm gonna one-up myself this week. Yeah, I'm gonna make them go absolutely insane. I'm gonna make them stop playing video games and start making videos on us and our stupid antics, huh? And then they sit there bitching and complaining on freaking Twitter. Why do they keep covering us? Why don't they cover the Xbox or Nintendo drones? None of this makes sense, man. Speaking of Nintendo drones, one of them posted up a video that I really wanted to cover. But no, no, the PlayStation fanboys can't share the limelight at all. But you know what? Fine. You want your attention, PlayStation fanboys? You sure as fuck got your attention today. So today we're going to be covering a certain topic that if you guys haven't got, you know, caught on at the beginning of the video or during the title of the video, we're going to be covering a PlayStation fanboy that decided to abuse the copyright system. And this wasn't just a small creator. No, 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 no. This was actually a fellow content creator that actually covers salt videos and various other amounts of things on his channel and his or across multiple of his channels. So this PlayStation fanboy decided to abuse the copyright system against Fritanga Place. So like I always say, right before we dive right into this content, please make sure to go grab yourself a nice little drink and a nice little snack. And we're just going to go ahead and dive right into this content because uh, this one, this one's going to be spicy. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Now, if you're not familiar with Fratanga Plays, basically he is a salt content creator, just like me, except he does a lot better on the editing job. And that man right there, he can edit. And I, I kid you guys not, go watch a video, and you'll see the night and day difference between his channel and my channel. There is literally a night and day. Now, with the knowledge of who Fratanga is, let me go ahead and just, you know, start unraveling this whole mystery for you guys. So recently, he uploaded a video that uh, kind of poked a little fun at a PlayStation fanboy called Broken Games. And uh, yeah, he, he did not like being poked fun at at all. I, I, I kid you not. It was like, it was some of the most softball insults or not even insults, just jokes. And I kid you not, literally within two days, this video got taken down with a strike. Not a claim like Quantum TV did to Mischief, a strike. Now, a lot of you may be sitting there thinking to yourselves, well, actually, two things you're probably thinking to yourself right now. You're probably thinking, was the video actually fair use? Before the video was taken down? Yes. Was he using the video in a transformative way? Yes. And the screenshot that I have pulled up for you guys, this is directly from Broken Games where he's only claiming two minutes out of a 17 or close to 18 minute video where Frit only used two minutes of a clip from his four hour stream. Now, a lot of you are probably sitting there thinking to yourselves, Gar, is this real? Did, do you have any proof that this was actually Broken Games who actually did it to Frit? Actually, yes, I do. I have admission right here in this little tweet. Yup. And I did it with a big old Kool-Aid smile on my face, too. Don't use my content without my permission, weirdo. Fuck you thought this was. You thought I wouldn't do nothing like you did when your brother took your girl? Fuck out of ye. Oh, also, too, if you want further confirmation that he actually did do it, well, he replied to another content creator saying this. I can't express enough how much I don't give a fuck, Alex LMAO. 
If me and you wasn't cool, I would gladly do it to you too if you was my shit. Now, as far as I know from what Frit has told everybody, he has sent emails to Broken Games and has tried his absolute best to resolve this behind the scenes without escalating this further to the courts or whatever the situation may be. Now, you may be sitting there thinking to yourselves, hey Gar, couldn't you just submit a counterclaim? Well, let me explain to you what you need to do in order to get that process going. Read the counter notification requirements and check the boxes to confirm. Not too bad, right? But here's where it starts to get worse and where you really don't want to, you know, submit a claim like this because a lot of stuff will come out. You, you'll see what I mean. Enter your contact info. Make sure to include your physical address and full legal name, usually a first and last name. Do not enter a company name or channel name. Now, some of you may be sitting there like, okay, you're just putting your address and your legal name in and you're sending it to YouTube. There's nothing really big deal about that. Like, why, why are you getting that with this, Gar? You've got to start making a little more sense to us. Well, here's the problem with that. As soon as you type that information and you send it out, guess who's going to be getting it? Not YouTube, the person who submitted the, cl uh, the strike in the first place. What happens after you submit a counter notification? After a counter notification is submitted, it's forwarded to the claimant if it meets all the requirements, including a clear explanation of why you believe the content is misidentified or moved in error. Counter notifications that do, don't meet all the requirements may be rejected. So let me go ahead and water this down for the people that do not understand the situation that's going on currently. If you submitted all your information, your personal info, where you live and your legal name, mind you, to these people, along with all the evidence to prove that you are doing fair use with your own content, they can reject it, okay? And on top of that, they have your personal information, which they could go ahead and, well, you know, this is notoriously happened around the internet multiple times. They could spread it around the internet and cause someone's life some real freaking damage. I mean, if you don't think this has actually happened before, go ahead and go look it up YouTube right now. There are plenty, plenty of videos of people being abused by this system that, you know, clearly YouTube does not give a fuck to fix itself. And while having that strike on your channel, you could be knocked out of the algorithm, you could be restricted from uploading or streaming, and worse, you could be knocked out of the YouTube partnership, which is what they use to pay you and push you further in the algorithm. Now, you may be thinking to yourself like, oh, wait a minute, you know what? He could probably just go to Twitter and, you know, at Team YouTube or at YouTube and try to get this, you know, issue resolved without sending his personal information. Well, as currently right now, as I'm looking at his Twitter page right now, YouTube hasn't even bothered to reply to the poor guy at all. And well, I do find it a bit interesting, though, that Broken Games over here thought deleting the tweets would forever just, you know, absolutely get rid of them and, you know, would absolutely resolve them right no no it doesn't you fucking moron do you not know the internet is fucking forever do you not realize that you're already fucking caught in 4k it doesn't matter what you fucking do that you try to delete shit whatever whatever you try to fucking do actually as a matter of fact too there are currently youtube videos of you on youtube right now that have a history of you abusing the copyright system. And as much as I would love to show you guys these uh, videos of him admitting that he abused the copyright system, I'm trying not to give Broken Games HD or HDR in this situation a reason to claim this video because I want this video to get out. So if you happen to come across one of those videos, well, there you go. Also, just a FYI, if you happen to go to court, just happen, uh, you know these videos can be used against you, right? Saying like, oh, I've never copyrighted anybody at all. I, no, I've never done that. No, no, you, you in these videos that I've seen can be used against you. And if Fred decides to say, hey, this copyright strike that, you know, that's on, currently on my channel is absolutely fraudulent and he sends the notification back to you and you decide to reject it, you do realize you two are going to have to go to court, right? Meaning that 95%, if I remember this correctly, that you're going to have to fly out there just to go to court with Frit. 
You know that, right? Just just over a copyright dispute of a two minute clip out of a four hour fucking live stream. And if somehow, some freaking way that you win this copyright dispute, oh boy, oh boy, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Not just us, you guys too. That means the content that you guys use on your videos, your live streams, are gonna be up for copyright disputes now too. And I truly hope that it does not go down this pathway. I truly do mean it. But if it does, that means all criticism that is not your content, 100% your generated content, it will be taken down. If it has a PlayStation logo, Xbox logo on it, whatever the case may be, the video will be taken down. And mind you, BG is not just some teenager that's gone out of control. No, no, no. This is a full grown man that is on the internet throwing a temper tantrum over the fact that someone disagreed with them on their favorite piece of little plastic and made fun of their video. Can, can you fucking believe that for a second? A full grown man, which needs to go handle like, you know, big things in their life, like family things, paying your bills, going out and making sure that you're living a fulfilling life. No, you're some worried about some dude on the internet making fun of you. That's just fucking sad. And do you know what makes this situation even more depressing, guys? That just made me sit there and think to myself, oh my God, this is just truly sad. Harman Smith posted on my community post as soon as he saw this post, and guess what he said? LMAO, if I wanted, I could do the same thing, but I won't. I encourage all criticism to my channel. I can't believe I'm about to say these two words in the same sentence to you guys right now. Potentially thousands, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 people watching this video. Yeah, get ready for this one because it's going to blow your fucking mind. That right there has earned my respect for Harmon Smith. The one that can actually take criticism and roll with the punches, no matter how many times we make fun of him or say some fucked up shit about him he rolls with the punches he is more of a man than bg will ever fucking be i can't believe those words are coming on my fucking mouth but you know what i'm starting to get really tired guys and i i guess feel myself starting to lose my mind after that Harmon comment so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here guys and uh if you enjoy my content please leave a like and comment in the comment section always a pleasure to talk to you guys and hey if you enjoy my rants my reviews and my soul content consider subscribing to the channel help me get to that 10k by the end of this year because holy cow the last past what two weeks i have been exploding in subscribers like holy shit guys thank you very much i appreciate it and there may be a chance we get to 10k by this end of this year but you know it's really up to you if you subscribe to the channel you know what i mean but anyway like i always say at the end of my video guys please be safe out there and hope to see you guys in the next video later fam Have it, yeah,